Let me make this straight. It's not straight at all. Let's make this a little straighter. Let's see. Oh, the Mighty Ducks music. I love it. Hey, everybody. Good afternoon. Hello from Walt Disney World Resort. We are right outside the Wilderness Lodge. And I know the thumbnails is Magic Kingdom, but we're headed that way via the boat right here at Wilderness Lodge. If you could do me the big favor. Ooh, there's a water outage tonight between one and four. No water, no showers between one and four. This is one of my favorite lobbies and resorts, and I figured it'd be fun to take a little boat ride over, plus meeting up with a friend, my merch expert, Brookie. Look how beautiful it is. Hi, everyone. So great to see you. Happy Wednesday. If you could do me a big favor, please hit that like button. If you're brand new, consider subscribing. We're going to head over to the Magic Kingdom. I'll catch up some chat while we're on the boat, but look how beautiful. You got Whispering Canyon right here. We've done a ton of resort tours here. And this whole lobby will transform. A month from now, it will be all holidayed out. And it's so beautiful. The fireplace in the corner, the stream that starts in the lobby and runs throughout the entire exterior. But rocking the awesome Disney bound, here's Brookie, my merch expert. All right. Are we ready to go to the Magic Kingdom? Yeah. Sweet. 140, we're going to Liberty Tree. I'm into it. All right, let's head to the boat. If you've never been to this resort, like I said, we've done a ton of tours here. Uh, it's one of my favorites. It's so beautiful. So there's Fort Wilderness and there's, I'm going to a dead end. And there's Wilderness Lodge. Uh, we are at Wilderness Lodge. Easily confused, but very different. Fort Wilderness Campground. This, a big, Beautiful resort, as you can tell. I love this. This is where the uh, stream starts and runs across the entire exterior, right where those kids hopping over. And it runs down towards the pool. I hope everyone's having a great week. You're halfway through it. It's Wednesday. Hump day. Artist Point up here, another great spot. And the Territory Lounge. If you're looking for a beverage that used to be part of the Tables in Wonderland, rest in peace. So what do you want to do today, Brookie? What, what rides do you want to do? What attractions? Hmm. I don't even know Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion, love it. I was thinking about doing Carousel of the Progress because I haven't done that in months. I haven't done that. I haven't done it in the longest time. Mine train. train's a ton of fun as well. Let's see, I always, this changes every month. We were always looking for good crafts. Let's see what's going on here. The Wonders of the Lodge Art and Architect Tour daily at nine. We might have to come back at 9 a.m. We got poolside activities, the campfire. What is this? Humphrey's Hideout. Craft of the day. Make your own sugar scrub sounds fun. Make your own pixie dust. Make your own paracord keychain. Make your own spooky terrarium. Fridays at four. This could be our activity on Friday at four. I like that. Because it's Freaky Friday. All right, let's go. We actually watched Freaky Friday, actually, uh, with Marquita last Friday. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Marquita, I met... Brookie through Marquita. This is the waterfalls that started in the lobby and it runs the whole length of the resort. It is technically the coolest day I think we've had in the last six months, but still pool weather. I'm still rocking a tank, but we're in the seventies today, which is so nice because we've been in the eighties and nineties and over a hundred, <clears throat> excuse me, for the last I don't know, it's probably six months.
I was actually here last week to come hang out with Kenny and his wife. Had a quick little drink at the Geyser Point Lounge, which is amazing. One of the coolest lounges on property. If you want uh, me to do another little tour of this place, let me know. I'll come back uh, later this month. We're going to be spending a lot of time at Fort Wilderness in the next few weeks because they go all out for Halloween. And my homegirl Jess and my boy Mike have pretty much set up shop. I think they're going to be camping there for the next two and a half weeks. So we're going to go visit them, drive some golf carts around, look at all the Halloween decor. We'll check out the Tri-Circle D Ranch. So make sure you're subscribed. You got that bell on. Hit all notifications so you don't miss anything. Welcome to all the new subscribers and new people in the Discord. Love all of you. Our Discord community is amazing. If you're not aware, we have one of the coolest Discord communities. It's completely free. I recommend signing up using your real name or your YouTube name so we know who you are, but... It's just the best community. I mean, imagine over 300 and change people where everyone's kind to one another, where everyone's hanging out. We do everything from theme park tips, but everyone in the morning is like, good morning. Hope everyone's having a great day. If someone's going through something, they offer support. And really, I have nothing to do with it except my name's on it. It's just a group of amazing people. I'm the luckiest guy. So there's no one in line and uh, the boat's not in sight. That's why we walked right past the line. But look how pretty. Bay Lake. So this lake is over a thousand years old. It connects to the Seven Seas Lagoon, which is the man-made lagoon that uh, they dug out to create the second story of the Magic Kingdom because when you enter the Magic Kingdom, you're actually on the second floor. There are the utilidors underneath. But it's rumored that this is the lake that Disney flew over and said, we should build our park around this lake. It's got a lot of history. It's gorgeous. The old water park was uh, right over there. Some of these islands have a, a bunch of different histories. During the pandemic, a guy tried to live on one. One of the islands have the shoes uh, of the retired cast members who worked on the boats. It's gorgeous. I could hang out here all day. What a Disney bound. Look at this Disney bound. And I love that you got the heartbreak kid hat. So along the right-hand side is Copper Creek, the DVC property. There's also DVC on the other side as well. But yeah, this is Wilderness Lodge. And then Fort Wilderness is yonder, right over there. My shorts are soaked because my water bottle was open in my pocket, which is fun. <laughs> soaked. Just right up the leg. <laughs> I appreciate being here. Uh, also, nice... Uh, if you missed it, um, where I was over on JoJo's World, we did some filming the other night. We did a really fun pin trading competition. Uh, we had a blast. If you want to go check out the video, it was from Monday. The I think his thumbnail says $150 pin, but JoJo's World, a lot of fun. Great guy uh, inviting all of us. And also, when you think about the My Channel's got, you know, we're on the road to 10K. He has 1.44 million subscribers. Crazy, right? But super nice guy. Might be a guest on Mixing Up Mondays soon. We'll see. I'm trying to figure that out with his schedule. But uh, yeah, super cool. What a what a come up, right? To 1.44 million subscribers? That's insane. That's crazy. Let's say hi to some people while we wait for this boat. Uh, hello, Izzo. What's going on? It says, please hit the like when you come in. Make Magic Kingdom more magical today. I agree. Let's spread some Disney magic. By hitting the like button, we get pumped out and sent out to more accounts. YouTube gives you a little bit more love if you get more likes. So hit that like button when you come in. Maybe we could uh, give someone a little magic on this Wednesday in the middle of their day. Or depending on where you're watching. It could be the evening if you're watching over in Europe. It might be uh, your morning out on the West Coast. Hi, Dawn. What's going on, Green Giant? Hi, Mary Jo. Mr. Dave in the house. Tomorrowland Traveler. Said, have you hugged your local like and subscribe buttons today? <laughs> Robert D, what's going on? David Lung, Sivako. Hi, Colleen. What's going on? Moogle, Kalixi, love it. Phenomenal Brandy here hanging out. Peaches P. 
Spa day, very nice. Hi, Aaron Murphy, great to see you. And like I said, Daniel, you could totally steal this thumbnail. By the way, Tomorrowland Traveler, not only one of the nicest guys, but also a great travel agent. If you wanted to uh, ever book a trip, I always recommend using a travel agent. We have uh, six amazing travel agents in our Discord, but also Daniel if you, uh, does it as well. And he's got a great website, TomorrowlandTraveler.com, and a great YouTube channel. I highly recommend. Oh, thanks, Colleen. She liked the thumbnail. That was fun. You know what's crazy, too? That that was, like, I think the easiest thumbnail I've ever made. It might have been the fastest and the easiest. That's just kind of how it works, right? Siva Co. Great to see everybody. Yes, we're at Dawn's Lodge. I did park my car on the stairs. I, it was just a convenient spot. It's one of the, I, it's so funny, I was just telling Brookie about that uh, a little while ago. I was like, you ever hear the news story about the person who just drove down the stairs <laughs> instead of just continuing straight? If you guys don't know what we're talking about, outside uh, where you pull up for the valet or you make the loop into the parking lot, there is a staircase. Now it has handrails, so it's clearly, uh, you know it's a staircase, but there was a staircase about 12 feet wide, and when the car, instead of making the left in the circle, just drove down the stairs. It was very funny. Izzo says. <laughs> oh, I love it. Great to see you, Izzo. Lynette says, hi, everyone. We just left them. Okay, time for a nap. I'm very excited. I'm actually having dinner with Lynette and Bill tonight. I'm so excited to see them. They just got into town. They were at Magic Kingdom all morning, and uh, we're going to have an awesome dinner tonight. I'm very excited. Colleen's excited for Carousel of Progress. It was, I mean, for some people, chilly this morning. Me, this is dream weather. I got a tank on. It is a beautiful, I think it's like 71 degrees right now. Heaven. This is the best weather. I love it. Peach says, Wilderness Lodge is beautiful. We rarely are able to stay uh, to get the DVC stay there since it's not our home resort. Yeah, it's so gorgeous. I've never stayed here. I just love to come and hang out. Oh, here comes our ride. Oh, I love the open air boat. Hi, Balabon Channel. Great to see you. Mogul says, I might take the boat over from Contemporary Wilderness Lodge soon. Yeah, it's fun. Well, I'm headed to the Magic Kingdom now, but that I totally recommend. Sharon O'Brien, what's going on? Says, hi, everyone. Just left yesterday. Miss being in the Disney bubble. We miss having you here. I hope you had a great trip. Robert D. made the switch. He's in Pennsylvania. Lynette and Bill are down here in Florida. At least we've kept the, the balance. Well, it's, I guess it's time to get in line because here comes our ride. If you're enjoying the stream, please hit the like button. It really does help. We're trying to get to 100 as fast as possible. That's really where the magic happens. This is my favorite vessel to get to the Magic Kingdom. That's what I'm talking about. I always said this would be my favorite retirement job is just driving the boats to Disney. Because if you want, you flick on the Disney music. If not, you can tell jokes. And just drive around. Like, look at this. This is the life. Huh? And it's such a beautiful day. It's, like it's, it's perfect. perfect. It's perfect today. Look at those fancy Crocs. Oh, yeah. Love it. 100th. Nope. I just saw that, uh, I guess Crocs and Pixar have the new uh, Tomater Croc. It looks, it looks very cute. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> hey, you know what? There's Disney magic in the air. I need to grab a first visit. Okay. 
Okay. Yes. Gibson. We're going to head from Bay Lake over to the Seven Seas Lagoon and then into the Magic Kingdom for some magic and fun on this beautiful day in Orlando. We had a crisp night last night, 55 degrees last night in the middle of the night, and I wish I could say I was able to enjoy it, but our building's being painted, so I couldn't open the windows. But last night, I don't know, when was the last time I was outside around... 11 or 12, it was uh, in the 60s and it felt glorious. It's our turn. Are we gonna look for any merch today? Are we going into the Emporium? We are? Okay, sweet. Because I don't know much about merch. This is why I bring an expert with me. How's it going? Good. How you doing? Fantastic, thanks. Welcome aboard. Watch step, watch me. Old boy that's coming aboard. Anywhere you want. You know yeah, either one. Works for me. people running down the dock. Looks like the wind is out of the north. times at Disney. Thanks, David. Very informative skipper we have here. Yeah. Wait. Can I ask you to hold that for one second? Welcome aboard. For your safety, please remain seated. Keep He's going to take care of the essentials. Legs inside our boat at all times. And supervise your children. Now relax and enjoy your cruise. And I live on the edge. 
That was my yearbook quote Literally. in high school. If you don't live on the edge, you can't see the view. There's a little quote next to my nerdy picture. I hated my picture so much as a freshman in high school that when I signed everyone's yearbook, I would scribble out my own picture. That's how bad it was. So you actually do some fishing out here as well. You could rent fishing equipment at Fort Wilderness. Uh, I believe there's a few different types of fish out here, but some bass. Um, what are the other ones? I forget. I know bass is pretty common. I'm. It is catch and release, though. You could also rent a boat. Uh, you can go out on a fireworks cruise or just rent a boat on your own. The difference is if you rent a boat on your own, you could bring up to 10 friends, uh, is you cannot bring any food or beverage on that craft. However, if you want a fireworks cruise with a driver, you can bring alcohol or food on board. You hang out, they take you around, they give you a lot of fun facts. Cruise around for a few hours and they park you right in front of the Magic Kingdom at night. They pump in the music and you get to watch Happily Ever After from the water. It's really neat. One thing I did not know is that where they work on all these boats and one of the, uh, I guess, dry dock areas is back over here. You can see all the way the distance over there. We got to go back there with a skipper on a fireworks cruise a few months ago. And it was really cool because we got to see uh, all the boats, including the Yacht One, which they don't run anymore, but you used to be able to rent a yacht for the night out here. But all the boats uh, that service out here, but not only just the boats that are here, Jungle Cruise boats, any water vessel gets serviced over there. It's really neat. Right now we're looking at the Bay Lake Tower on your right and the Contemporary on the left. You can kind of see Space Mountain peeking through. Contemporary is the resort where the monorail runs through, but it's also very beautiful. They got a beach volleyball court. Um, Bay Lake Tower actually has its own mini golf course, its own bocce court. We've spent a lot of time at those resorts showing you some of the fun. But if there's ever anything you want to see or maybe a deeper dive into, you got to jump in the Discord, go into either live stream or video ideas, and let me know what you want to see. That's how I just got an idea from John Thorne, who was like, hey, you should go to Tankland, which I didn't know existed in Orlando. But apparently you can drive a tank, blow things up, drive over cars. You know, Disney stuff. Disney stuff. <laughs> Almost an iconic moment. Boat, monorail, and if there's a bus going underneath us, the triple threat. Look at this. We have four boats. This is the most traffic I've seen over this bridge. So Bay Lake actually used to end right here. And then this is the where they dredged and created the Seven Seas Lagoon. So the Magic Kingdom would have to be up top. During Hurricane Charlie housed us here. My mom worked the uh, Hurricane Charlie... I guess the uh, team or whatever. Okay. And um, they had us all stay here in the bottom. No way. Um, yeah. That's awesome. They housed everybody and their families and then all the volunteers. That's so cool. Rookie's yeah. mom used to work in the contemporary for many, many years. Yeah. So we yeah. got some inside yeah. information. Yeah, we got to stay here and it was, it was great during Hurricane Charlie. And all the families and they gave us all this food and stuff. that's so cool i always say disney's the safest place to be during a hurricane uh we came during hurricane ian also some of the largest views we've ever seen but yeah they give you food even if the parks are closed uh they feed you there's characters in the lobby and these buildings are built to withstand the highest winds in florida yep. by the way you may have noticed her awesome mary poppins tattoo also a little nod to mom yeah i love it what a ride what a beautiful view. What? Wait, I'll like this. All right. Let me show you more Disney things. So they... There you go. So that's a group that rented their own boat without a Disney skipper. It's a lot of fun. Honestly, if you have 10 people, it's, it's pretty affordable. If you split it 10 ways or 8 ways. Yeah, you just keep telling everyone, hurry up. Even though the signs literally say slow. It's so slow. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them to speed yeah. up slow. Yeah. Speed. Pick it up. <laughs> you wimp. There's the castle. 
I can't wait. Yeah, the big reveal is coming up. If you do rent your own boat, just so everyone knows, don't do anything too crazy or break too many rules because there are people out on patrol to make sure you're not... There's no tomfoolery, if you will. It's the nicest way to put that. Yeah. Mark Mueller, what's going on? Amy, great to see you. Hi, Jason. This is so relaxing and beautiful. I totally agree. I love a boat ride to the Magic Kingdom. It just sets the stage. I always take the ferry if I come in the transportation center. Yeah, I love a boat ride over. Bill said there are not, there are not enough jokes on this boat. Yeah, a lot of skippers will uh, break out some of their best Disney jokes on the ride. But that's why I said this is the greatest retirement job, is if you want to tell jokes, you can. If not, you just give everyone a nice, relaxing, serene trip to the Magic Kingdom. It's the best job. Hi, Gail. Great to see you. All right, we can start there. Sure. We're going to start with a, a little trip to Liberty Trip Tavern. We've never done it on the stream, so I thought it would be fun to do. We might just grab a little bite to eat, maybe an appetizer, grab a beverage. If you're ever looking for an adult beverage to have to go to a sit-down dining restaurant. So that's Tony's Town Square, Liberty Tree Traver Tavern, Skipper Canteen, Be Our Guest, and so on and so forth. Uh, Plaza, those are the only places where you could have an adult beverage at Disney, and you cannot take it to go. What? Oh, you can book it, yeah, or, or join a walk-up list. Yeah. Oh. JWAR, what's going on? Says, hi everyone, my favorite area. I love a good Pete lunchtime stream. Well, it makes me very happy. Colleen, thank you so much for dropping the links for the socials. If you guys want to follow the fun in between the streams and the mayhem of my life, uh, you can follow the Instagram at official Carney. The Twitter is at your WDW guy. The TikTok's Adventures by Carney. The Patreon's Adventures by Carney. And thank you, Colleen, for dropping all the links here. That is our queen, Colleen. She's the best. Look at that shot. Monorail coming right across the middle. Main Street, USA. The train station looks great. We got all the Halloween decorations, the autumn colors. One of my favorite times of the year. Hi, CJL. Hi, Anthony Virgil. Uh, Vigil. Sorry. Hard to read. It's not here. Anthony says, I always feel like they don't have to stretch the experience. Silence is golden. Uh, 50 something square miles. 46. 46. I like to round up. Two Manhattans. Yeah. Put it inside the animal kingdom. Boom. Got it. Let's go. Okay, fit in the parking lot. Yes. I'm a fun fact machine. More fun facts. You want a Disney Springs fun fact? The, the Disney Spring. Uh, hold on. Oh, that's right. Yeah. They have to say good night. You do have to say good night, George. And if they forget, things have gone wrong the next day, and there's been closures. That's a real fun fact is that cast members on Pirates of the Caribbean have to say goodnight, George, at the end of the night. Uh, and if they forget, there tends to be closures or things go, go down the next day. And that is a true story. Sadly, someone did pass. Get out of here. I didn't know that. Hmm, Nixon. Arnold Palmer. Arnold 
That's great. That's crazy because I ride the monorail drinking an Arnold Palmer. <laughs> the same thing. Just as a tribute, you know? I guess I Nixon exactly because there's a great story. Well, I'm not sure if a lot of you know, but the contemporary is the famous spot where Richard Nixon said, I am not a crook. It was at an event. He was asked about some, uh, you know, the whole Watergate thing. And that's where he gave his famous, I am not a crook. Another crazy story about Nixon is that apparently um, he got on the monorail and his Secret Service didn't know he was getting on. So they did a whole lap of the Secret Service and they freaked out. And they brought him back and then they got on the monorail. But uh, it was a whole, a lot of fun stories at Disney. As a matter of fact, right behind me, the Polynesian uh, is the spot where the Beatles officially uh, separated. John Lennon signed the paperwork to separate the Beatles right here at the Polynesian Village Resort. Welcome to the stream. You're full of fun facts. Between me and David, we got you covered. After you, go ahead. That's fine by me. We're in no rush. We just are soaking in the magic little by little. Thanks for the great ride and the fun facts, David. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too. I'm walking right down the middle of the Main Street, USA. We'll be okay. Uh, another thing that people should probably know is you're allowed you're allowed 20 minutes in either direction before they charge you. So there is a 20 minute buffer. So don't freak out if you're here on Disney property and you're on a ride too late, or you're getting into a resort too late, or your bus didn't took too long. Is uh, Disney does give you 20 minutes on each side of your reservation time. Also, if something does go much rougher uh, i remember the first time we did the hoopty do our bus at epcot uh had an issue and it ended up taking over an hour is there a garbage oh, it's, it's over the there oh, did I? I yeah, there's one i'll just go backwards hold on you can go ahead we're gonna do, do, do. but anyway yeah so i uh our bus took over an hour to get from epcot to fort wilderness on our on our hoopty do reservation Disney was cool, and they let us go to the next show, which was very nice. Uh, I love the music. I love the full decorations. I'm feeling the magic. Borky, be more emotional. Be on my level. Feel the magic. Soak it in. Come on. All right, I got to put you at the floor. Up, oh. but shout out to Queens. I saw that on the name tag. Look how beautiful. Wait, what time is it? I didn't make a reservation. I think I'm supposed to do that. Whoops, did you make one? I think I have to make a reservation really quick. Totally forgot. Look at the railroad. All right, everyone. I can do it on my phone quick. I'm just gonna pause the stream, sadly. Uh, pcarney84 at gmail. Thank you. You said that, right? Uh, the letter P, not the full name. Sorry. Oh, um, 
This is the hard part because I don't know what it is. Let's go. Password on the first try. It never happens. What? Oh, just me. I'm somewhere in there. You'll see I have a lot of people. I think I'm linked to like 50-something people. Yeah. You got to keep going down to the bottom. There's more people, more people, it's more people. Your name right here. No, 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 but you got to go down to the bottom and hit confirm. You just got to go past all the people. There you go. We're in? Yeah. Sweet. Let's go to the Magic Kingdom. Thanks for helping out. That's why it's so nice having a friend on a stream. Hey, how's it going? Fantastic. This is the greatest weather ever. If you're enjoying the stream or just getting here, please hit that like button. It really does help. We're at 75, 25 away from 100. And that's really, I feel like, when YouTube gives you some love. Are we ready? Yeah. We're headed to Liberty Tree Tavern. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, perfect timing. This is the beginning of the music loop. Bump, 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 bump. This is literally the beginning of the music loop. Bump, 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 bump. Bum, 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 bum. It is such a perfect day to be here. No, this is great. The parks have been a little crowded for the Disney 100, and also uh, right now is uh, a school break over in Europe. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, I've been meeting a lot of friends from the UK who are on a school break. And also apparently certain parts of Florida are on a school break. Not all counties, just select counties, which is weird. But this is nice. Yeah, this is great. All right, you ready for the big reveal? The magic moment? This magic moment. Drum roll, please. In three, two. Oh, look how beautiful it is. Is anyone else as excited as me? I don't know, but here we are. Look at the pumpkins. Main Street got the autumn flags out. What a time to be alive. What a great day. I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Look at this. This is crazy. And people are actually watching this. Whew, I am so lucky. So blessed. Thanks for being here. And look at that. Right around the 100 like mark. Let's go. Smash the like. I do recommend if you're ever here during the fall season to check out the pumpkins. They A lot of them have different expressions or actually do correlate to where they're near. So if you're by the fire department, they might have some fire department theming. If you're by the ice cream shop, they might have some ice cream shop theming. And also when you look up at the windows, all the names of the windows are actually former Disney cast members who have made a major impact. Like Ron Miller is the former CEO. It's right there on that window. Dick Nunes, a legend. Uh, really just <laughs> behind the scenes ran the Disney company during a lot of the 80s and so on and so forth. The very first name you see is Roy's name, uh, kind of like in a film, the producer's that first name. And then the last name you see when you watch a movie is the director. So the very last name on Main Street is Walt himself right above the ice cream shop. I'll show it to you real quick. 
and he gets to watch the fireworks and all the shows as he is the name that faces the castle. So here's the castle, and there's Walter Disney's name, Walter Elias Disney, right there on the window, right above the Plaza Ice Cream Parlor. All right, off to Liberty Treats Hubbard. We've never done this on a live stream in the history of the channel. I'm very excited. Oh, we got the drummers coming through. I love it. The Main Street Philharmonic. Philharmonic. I just said Philharmonic. I don't know why I keep putting this in my pocket. It just keeps soaking me. No, it's fun. I like a wet leg. Oh, and the pianist is out. Oh, I thought you were trying to hold my hand. I was like, oh, that's second base for me. There goes the band. This is usually me in a 5K, right behind everybody else. Everybody else. <laughs> Way back there. Wait, I'm coming. I'm coming, guys. Wait for me. Love that happy Halloween boy. Where? We just passed the Happy Halloween. Oh, that's fun. If you have not seen the new short on Disney Plus, it is a tearjerker and it's awesome and amazing. Best eight minutes of your life. Go check it out. It's called Once Upon a Studio. I think you could also watch it on Hulu. So Hulu or Disney Plus. Eight minutes celebrating 100 years of Disney animation and the company. And it's just fantastic. And you will cry. And if you don't, you should probably seek help. Uh, <laughs> I watched it live for the first time. I was really trying to hold it together, so I was good. And then I watched it again, and then again, and again after our stream. If you mix, mix it up Mondays, that's where you watched it live. You did a little watch along together. I just wanted this to dry. I just want to hang this out. The greatest snack in all the Magic Kingdom, spring rolls right here. Sure. Check when you're near. We're near. I can see the back of it. Okay. We are only 11 likes away from 100. Let's go. The life of a Disney duck might be the best life. So I talk about this on a few live streams here, but my favorite thing to do is grab some spring rolls from I just showed you. You walk across this bridge, you make the hard left right here, find yourself a little picnic table in the shade and enjoy that spring roll. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Right here, look, Let's go, guys. this is where it's at. This guy's working, this is the spot to work. Okay. Right here at the Magic Kingdom, yeah. what a life. You grab a table, it's nice and quiet back here. What happened? Just looking at this food that's on this menu. Getting hungry? Well, yeah, it is 145. I got some good stuff. We've now entered Liberty Square. Of course, this beautiful old oak tree, 13 lanterns for the original 13 colonies. You can see the flags of the original 13 colonies here. And this bell, fun fact, was the last bell cast before the fact, uh, but it is an exact replica of the Liberty Bell. And here we are at the Liberty Tree Tavern. Say it again. I said we got an update on your thing, so let's see what that is. Oh, such a beautiful day here. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day as well. Happy Wednesday. You're halfway through the week. It's a great day to be alive. Great. Thanks for being here with me. Hopefully, we're going to share some Disney magic, cheer you up a little bit. We're good to go? All right. Let's go. Thanks, Logan. Again, we've never done this on a live stream in the history of the channel, so I'm very excited. The Liberty Tree Tavern.
Also, ADA uh, compliant as well, where they have the lift for the wheelchairs, which is very nice. I love it. This is old school. Yes, that's us. Hear ye, hear ye. We have arrived. Thank you, Amber. Fantastic. What's going on, Philippe? After you. No, you're, you're Disney about it. You look great. I'm not. I'm just rocking the ABC gear. Look how big this is. How's it going? Oh, nice. I love a corner booth. All right, let's do it. Oh, this is Oh, sweet. Oh, we'll say baby in a second. Tell them it's the same party? Yeah. Maybe? I just feel bad if they call your name and they don't go. It's up to you. Um, it's the exact same party size, people, and everything else. I don't know. Sure, yeah. All right, so we are at the Liberty Tree Tavern. Let's start with some of the options. Like I said, so the only place to get alcohol at the Magic Kingdom is a sit-down restaurant. This is one of them. So here you can have beer, hard cider, and cocktails. Recently just started serving cocktails. It used to just be beer, uh, wine, and cider. But it's... Philippe, I think yeah, there was a mistake. Yeah, my name's Baby, and this is Baby. Huh? Yeah, and there's two of us, and there's two of them, so... Yeah, is that okay? Uh, yeah, it's just we're gonna just get our new tickets. You guys need an allergy? No. No. Okay. Uh, then let me take this, okay. and I'll come back with the ticket for this over. Okay, Thanks. There we go. So uh, before we look at the food, uh, here's some of the offerings here at the Liberty Tree Tavern. There's the Sam Adams Wicked Hazy IPA, which I'm wicked excited about. Sam Adams Boston Lager. So again, this is a Liberty Square restaurant. It's gonna be a lot of that Boston stuff. Hi, Amy. Hello, how are you Doing so good, thanks. Philippe just ran to grab you the ticket. Okay, no yeah. problem. All right, welcome to the Tavern. Have you guys been there before? No, I have. I mean, I did it maybe 10 years ago. All right, well. So it's so been a while. Eat, so if you want more things, let us know. We bring everything out to the table to you. So have some salad and bowls, then you'll get the main platter. You'll get three meats, pot roast, turkey, and pork. Dressing, mashed potatoes, macaroni, cheese, green beans. And then four desserts. Are you inside? No. Are you okay with that? It's up to you. Yeah. Okay. And that's fine. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Any food allergies? Not for me. So the only thing you want to drink. Coke products, beer products, frozen lemonade, sushi. We'll do that. There's an upstairs as well. A shoelace. I know. I'm kicking it. All right, let me explain to everybody what happened real quick. Let me just head over here real quick. I also have to tie my shoe. It's so bright. I gotta change my sunglasses. I know, I have to find mine too. All right, let's just go over 
place where to put this. So I can tie my shoe. All right, so here's what just happened. Uh, I wasn't aware that everybody had to do the all you can eat. I thought maybe it was just one of us or we could order a la carte, but everyone's gonna have to pay the 50 bucks a person. And I'm not that hungry. Like I said, I'm not, I have a beautiful dinner with Bill and Lynette tonight. Shout out to Bill and Lynette. But I have a backup plan. We have a reservation at Skipper Canteen in 10 minutes that I was gonna cancel because we got both and I never did Liberty Tree on the stream. So, but I didn't know that everyone had to pay the 50 bucks each. And I, again, I'm going to dinner tonight with Bill and Lynette. So we're gonna go to Skipper Canteen and we're gonna go show you the menu there and walk you through that. And it's one of my favorite places. It is the place I recommend the most here if you want to sit down and eat. It is my favorite restaurant here at the Magic Kingdom. Be Our Guest is great too, but I'm comparing price points. Be Our Guest is very expensive. So for the price point and the experience, Skipper Canteen, my favorite spot. So we're gonna take you there instead. And then we're gonna go around the Magic Kingdom. We'll show you Skipper Canteen and we'll go do some rides, which is exciting. Would you, are you ready? You hungry? Let's do it. Do you want me to, I got all that. That won't open in my pocket. <laughs> all right, let's do it. Oh, I'm sorry. Now we are traveling from Liberty Square to Adventureland. Well, I guess we're right in the, right on the brink. If you're enjoying the stream, please hit the like button. We're three likes away from a hundred. So exciting. I hope you're having a great week. There's a fuel rod swap station here. The rest also, you can get your Disney 100 collectible medallions and collectible pennies here as well. Off we go to Adventureland. Wow, I've never seen a line outside of the Swiss Family Treehouse. That's crazy. Here we go. My favorite restaurant here. The Jungle Navigation Company. Skipper Canteen. Part of the world famous Jungle Cruise. What's going on, Jason? Just checking in for Carney. C-A-R-N-E-Y. What time was your reservation? Um, I just got the thing on my phone. Hold on one sec. All right, my bad. 
245, not 145. Well, that means we can do a ride. You want to do a haunted? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Or what? Is there anything that's a low wait time in this area you want to do? Or we can run over to book that and then go do carousel because there's never a wait for carousel. I'll go over here, I'll get out of the way. Let's see. You can just, just do you and I'll do me. 237, all right, so you want to book that and we'll do carousel and come back? Bubbles! <laughs> I see we got over 100 friends hanging out. Thanks for being here with us. Please hit that like button. It is a beautiful Wednesday here at Walt Disney World. We're at the Magic Kingdom. There's the Abu 50th. Uh, weird that the 50th has ended. It did last two years. We didn't really get too much, but that should eventually change. They said they're gonna keep the statues. They're just getting rid of the 50 medallion. So I don't know what he's gonna be holding. Also, there's the Club 33 area right there. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Let's go this way. <laughs> I'm just so pumped about this weather. I know. Let's head to the party. Bum, 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 ba -da. I'm about to go tap dance. Oh, there's a stage tap dance competition going on. So you can see they actually removed the 50th emblem off the front of the other statues. Because now they're just going to be permanently here. Yeah. The, but there's a few like Abu and Stitch that like interact with the 50th logo. Oh, there they are. Louie's got to be hot being out of the water this time. I mean, this is the coolest day of the year so far, but poor Louie all summer long. Not like Dan what? Not the dancing. <laughs> oh. oh. This is why the cast members are the magic. You're right, Brandy. Reptiles do love the heat. You're right. You're right. That was the bee's knees. 
It's real swinging. Goofy is such a vibe. He's what a great dancer too. Blue skies and sunshine. Bum 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 bum. What? What did you say? Oh. Just grabbing these, but I'll take that back for me in a second. Oh, you're good. No worries. Thank you. Do you want your water back? Ah, uh, the Tomorrowland cup holder. Have you ever taken pictures in front of the purple wall? This is the infamous purple wall right here. Oh, uh, yeah. And there's the stitch with the 50th in his mouth, even though it's 2023 and this park opened October 1st, 1971. 52 years later. But this week was the actual Disney 100th, which was pretty amazing. Just on Monday. What? Yeah. yeah. I'm into it. Which one? You want the one on the left or you want the one behind the stage? I, whatever. Just uh, the closest would be on the left. Yeah. The least crowded would be straight ahead. Hmm. Now you have a decision to make. The epic bathroom battle. All right. You got it. This time of year is so great to be here, but it is a gamble and I get it for a lot of people because it's also technically hurricane season. I mean, last year we had a bunch. This year we've been very lucky. No park closures, no flights delayed. But last year we had a few close calls, park closing, flights being canceled. <laughs> I mean, there's the other one that's behind the stage. All right. Definitely less crowded. So if you guys ever go to this restroom, it's always crowded. If you take a few steps, just go behind the Tomorrowland stage. It actually used to be the old Sky Bucket <laughs> uh, landing spot. You used to be able to go from here to Fantasyland above Rapunzel's bathroom area, or as we call it, Punzel's Poopers. <laughs> this Joffrey's? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, if you're a Joffrey's fan, this is the Joffrey's location here in the Magic Kingdom. There's a Starbucks in every park, and Joffrey's are in every park as well, but this is the only location that I believe is here at the Magic Kingdom. Epcot's got four, and each one has its own specialty drink during the festivals, uh, either alcoholic or non-alcoholic, if you ever want to try something new and exciting. But since it's the only Joffrey's location, there's usually a line, not too bad right now, only about six or seven deep. But if you ever come back here, so this was the old landing spot. They used to actually have sky buckets here, kind of like, a, you know, we have the Disney Skyliner. There's one that went through the Magic Kingdom from Fantasyland to here. But now it's a restroom location, just like Rapunzel's area. And it is way less crowded.
want to thank everybody so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm Pete. If you've never met, hi. The Vector's by Carney. Pleasure to meet you. Thanks for being here and spending your Wednesday afternoon with me. I hope we're bringing you a little bit of the magic here at the wonderful world of Walt Disney World. Uh, our plan, we're going to go on Carousel of Progress. I haven't done it in months. I don't think we've done it on a live stream in probably almost a year. So we're going to go do Carousel of Progress, an amazing ride that I think needs some love. So we're going to go do that. We do have a reservation at Skipper, so we can do that. We're going to plan, we have a reservation for Corner Mansions. So we're going to do that. So much to do, so much fun to be had. So thank you for being here. Please, if you haven't done so yet, hit that like button. It really helps. That little thumbs up you see. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. We also have an amazing website, adventuresbycarney.fun. That's right, dot fun instead of dot com. We have a fantastic Discord. It's completely free. Uh, the link is down below. And our Patreon program. I could not have this channel without the Patreons. Amazing Patreons. We do a Zoom call once or twice every month. We also do exclusive uh, Patreon streams every Monday. This past Monday for the Disney 100, I was at uh, Disney's Hollywood Studios. Uh, we did the whole uh, animation show on the Chinese theater. So yeah, go check it out. Plus, I mean, I there wouldn't be a channel without them. So thank a Patreon. I'm gonna catch up with the chat in a little bit as well, but I also might have to use the restroom. So I'm just gonna trust everybody. Just do this. Give you a little bit of atmosphere while I run to what we call the opera here because, you know, it's proper. It was a close one. <laughs> I'll be right back. If anyone steals you, take a screenshot. I trust everyone. Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. As usual, we'll keep moving ahead. And so does the carousel. Now, let's head to the For your safety, please remain seated. Thank you. We're back, baby. The next station is Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Found you. Which way you want to go? The lo I think this way is faster. You alright? Everything's good in life? Yeah. Way better now. Clear skies and sunshine? Clear skies, sunshine. I'm kind of pumped. I would say low key, but very high key excited. For Carousel Progress? Yes. I haven't done it in so long. It's been years for me, actually. Years. Possibly 20. That, see, this is making me more excited that you haven't done this in 20 years. Yeah, it's been. It's making me more excited. Thanks for watching everyone. Like I said, it looks like we got over a hundred friends hanging out. I'm so happy you're here. Hopefully we're bringing you some magic wherever you are around the world. 
as the Disney song says, you are the magic. People mover, iconic. We do it all the time. If you're new to the channel, go check out some other streams after this if you want. We, uh, we're known for our live streams here. But we do a lot of other fun stuff too. Check out the channel. Feel free to explore. Like I said, if you hit that subscribe, get that bell on, hit all notifications so you don't miss any of the fun. We just want to brighten your day. Oh, look at this timing. We're going right in. You spin me. This is so exciting. Where do you want to go, last row? Yeah, sure. Yeah. It's all right. You had the same great idea that we did. Dining at the end of every day. space well sure this works for me Miriam had that it's my whoops so we say this is the uh the white I mean the water side great big beautiful tomorrow thanks for watching I'm here hanging out with Brookie look at her look how cool she looks right I just have a big red face she looks like an all-star like she's so cool Look at this. Carousel of Here we go. Our Carousel of Progress is a 20 minute show that makes stationary turns along our stage area, so please stay seated at all times. Please supervise small children and we hope you enjoy your show. Thank you. Welcome to Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Uh, you're in for a real treat. The Carousel of Progress was Walt's own idea from beginning to end. He loved it. He introduced the show at the World's Fair in New York City in 1964, and it was an immediate smash hit. Millions of people came to see it. And since then, the Carousel of Progress has had more performances than any other stage show in the history of American theater. You know, Walt loved the idea of progress, and he loved the American family. And he himself was probably as American as anyone could possibly be. He thought it would be fun to watch the American family go through the 20th century, experiencing all the new wonders as they came. And he put them together in a show called Carousel of Progress, which we are now about to see. Although our Carousel family has experienced a few changes over the years, our shows still revolves around the same theme, and that's progress. May the century begin. Yeah, it looks like the Robins are getting ready to celebrate Valentine's Day today. What year is it? Oh, right around the turn of the century. And believe me, things couldn't be any better than they are today. Yes, sir, buildings are towering now as high as 20 stories. The moving pictures flicker up on a big screen. We have almost 8,000 automobiles in this country, and we can travel by train from New York to California in less than seven days. And I even hear tell about two brothers from North Carolina who are working on some kind of flying contraption. <laughs> It'll never work. Closer to home, we've now got gas lamps, a telephone, and the latest design in cast iron stoves. And that reservoir keeps five gallons of water hot in just three buckets of coal. Oh, well, that sure beats chopping wood. And isn't our new ice box a beauty? Look at that. Holds 50 pounds of ice. Milk doesn't sour as quick as it used to. And our dog Rover here keeps the water in the drip pan from overflowing. It wasn't too long ago we had to carry water from a well. And thanks to progress, we've got a pump right here in the kitchen. Of course, we keep a bucket of water handy to prime it with. Yes, sir. We've got everything we need to make life easier. Say, Mother, mm -hmm. I was reading about a fellow named Tom Edison who's working on an idea for snap-on electric lights. Electric lights? No more kerosene. No more gas. <laughs> Sarah sure gets the core of the apple. But we do have this new wash day marvel. Wow, it takes me only five hours to do the wash. Imagine, it used to take two days. 
Well, that's right, folks. Now Sarah has time for other things like, like canning uh, and cleaning the oven. Yes, dear. The ovens don't just clean themselves, you know. I know, dear. <laughs> and they probably never will. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get the laundry off the line before it starts raining cats and dogs. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, Rover. She didn't mean real dogs. Besides, it's not going to rain today. My lumbago isn't acting up. I'm not going to say I told you so. Oh, it's going to come down. All you have to do is put your wash on the line, right? Oh, well, the cistern was low anyway. Wow, Lee, look at that. Now, James, I thought I told you to ask my permission before using my new stereoscope. It's not a toy, you know. Ooh, la, la. So that's the Luigi Green. Yeah. She had knock out. She's the star of the New World's Fair in St. Louis. And <clears throat> you put that away before your mother finds it. Oh, Dad. You heard me. Well, we have one of those new talking machines. Now that is something. It plays music right here in our home. There's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. <laughs> she keeps that thing going all day long. <laughs> Oh, Papa. Yes, Patricia. Papa, all these people. I'm, I'm indecent. <laughs> Don't worry, Patricia. They're friends. That's our teenage daughter. She's getting ready to go to a Valentine's dance across town on one of those new horseless trolleys. I think it's very romantic for taking Mother out for Valentine's Day this year. Well, you know what kind of sport I am. I only hope I have an evening as romantic. Now, you be home by 9 o'clock, daughter. You hear me? Yes. Oh, well, with all this talking, I've worked up quite a thirst. <laughs> I think I'll take one of those newfangled trolleys down to the drugstore soda fountain and meet the boys for a cold sarsaparilla. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. We're drinking root beer now. Same kind of thing, different name. Well, that's progress for you. And uh, speaking of progress... <laughs> I've got an electric starter. Now I don't have to crank. We can travel from New York to Los Angeles by train in only three days. Now we've got a house full of new electrical servants. Mr. Edison sure added life to our home. <laughs> Ladies Club is responsible for our town's 4th of July celebration tonight. She's got us all roped into performing in their program. And I've I... decided we're going as George and Martha Washington, dear. Oh, the father of our country. <laughs> That's a role that really fits me. You know, I'm I... so glad we installed an electric light fixture here on the porch because it's just too darn hot to be sewing inside. Yes, Sarah. 
You know, next year I'd like to go as Benedict Arnold. Wait I'm... until you see what I've got planned for the fireworks show tonight. <laughs> Robert, don't interrupt while Sarah's interrupting. And guess who volunteered to choose the music for the program? I did, Pop. Listen to this. <laughs> Nice tune, Jimmy. You know, with our new Crosley radio set, we can get news and big time entertainment from all over the country, even Pittsburgh. Clippers starting to arrive downtown for a spectacular Fourth of July parade and fireworks event tonight. Oh, Patricia. Yes, Father. Better get a move on. The radio says folks are arriving downtown. Do I really have to go? If my new boyfriend Theodore sees me in this, it'll scare him away. Oh dear, if that happens, you'll always have that torch you can carry for him. <laughs> Father. Calm down, Rover. I was only kidding. By the way, we have indoor plumbing now. Oh boy, that's really great on cold nights, especially for our perennial house guest, old Uncle Orville. <laughs> Uncle Orville's taken over the coolest spot in the house, of course, and he's rigged up a real clever contraption. He calls it air cooling. <laughs> Too bad he's not reading the help wanted ads. No privacy at all around this place. Sorry, Orville. You know, considering all the... Oh, coming, Martha, as I was saying. Considering all the conveniences we now have, I'll say that we're really on easy street these days. It just can't get any better. Just goes to show that there's a great big beautiful tomorrow Shining at the end of every day There's a great big beautiful tomorrow And tomorrow's just a dream away your joke. Now, you're always kidding poor Patty. She's certainly prettier than either of you. <laughs> you hear that? My daughter Patty is using that old exercise machine she rescued from the attic. It was all the rage in the 20s. Grandma, of course, had to have one. Didn't work then, doesn't work now. <laughs> Consistent, at least. Makes a lot of noise and blows fuses. said about 
me when I was dating Sarah. <laughs> You're lucky, Rover. You don't have to date. Well, we're caught up in the do-it-yourself craze these days. We're remodeling our basement in something called a, a rumpus room. And we're looking forward to a few rumpuses, I'll tell you, as long as they don't get out of hand. John, this papering is getting out of hand. I could use a little help. Now, Sarah, didn't I set up that clever automatic paint stirring machine for you? Yes, John, you're a genius. Of course, this will ruin my food mixer. Not that you'd care. Oh, good old Sarah. Always the last lab. <laughs> Sarah. Oh, you and your progress. That paint mixer of yours just sloshed paint across my rump. A rumpus, a room. <laughs> How do you like that? I always say if you're going to be married, marry a girl with a sense of humor. Well, it's time to move on. Let's cheer up Sarah by singing our song. Come on, everybody. A great big beautiful tomorrow. Shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. And tomorrow's just a dream away. Man has a dream, and that's the start. He follows a dream with a mind and heart. And when it becomes a reality, it's a dream come true for you and me. So there's a great big beautiful tomorrow, shining at the end of every day. Isn't it a pleasant holiday? Oh, turkey's in the oven, it's peaceful and quiet. Yes! 300 points, not the best score yet. Well, it was peaceful until Santa brought that new virtual reality space pilot game. Your turn, Grandma. Let's switch the image over to the TV so the resident flying ace can show you how it works. Now, it's a little tricky. Just use your game glove to fly behind the other guy and blast him with your laser blaster. Laser blaster? Well, I'll give it a try. Take a look around, Grandma. You're in the ship. Feels like I'm really there. Okay, get ready. You're about to blast off. Here goes nothing. Oh. All right, here it comes. Oh, you missed him. Hey, everybody. I'm done programming our new voice activation system. Now all our household items will do anything we tell them to do. Great. Tell the refrigerator to bring me a root beer. Well, you can't quite do that. But I'll show you something it can do. Three lights, 30% brighter. Oh, that's no big deal. Anybody can do that voice-activated stuff. Watch this. Roar! Beep! John, the oven should respond to your voice commands now. Give it a try. Oh, okay. Here goes. Temperature to 375. Temperature increase to 375. Look at that. It even talks back. Reminds me of certain people I know. Yeah, right, Dad. You gotta lose them, Grandma. Thank to the right. Remember Dad's turkey last year? Yeah, that <laughs> thing really smoked up the place when it burned, didn't it? We ended up microwaving frozen pizzas. Well, no need to worry about the turkey this year. Not with an oven that will do anything your father tells it to do. Ooh, good shot. Did you see that? Dad, Grandma's up to 550 points. Did you say 550? Hey, she's getting the hang of that thing. I can't believe all the new gadgets they've got now. You know, in my day... Oh, no. You're not going to tell us about the old days when you didn't even have a car phone. Hey, Trish, for a while we didn't even have a house phone. Not to mention laser discs and high-def TV. Everything is automated today, including... Well, including that. No this Sorry, Orville. Anyway, you guys don't know how good you got it nowadays. You know, my grandpa told me the very same thing when I was a kid. Take that, you nincompoop! Hey, check it out, Dad. Grandma's up to 975 points. Wow, 975? <laughs> I love the nod to food rocks. John, what's wrong with the oven? What? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Anyone for pizza? Oh, another Christmas turkey ruined. <laughs> Man, what a game. I really smoked those guys. Oh.
But it's like I dreaded it playing ace now. Hmm, best two out of three, Grandma. Later, kid. Boy, that was fun. What will they think of next? Who knows? We've got a whole new century waiting for us out there. Yeah, and maybe sometime in the new century, your father will learn how to talk to our oven. Well, maybe by then ovens will read our minds. But hey, as long as we're all here and happy and together for the holidays, who cares if I burned our Christmas turkey? I do. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. Someday everything's going to be so automated, you won't ever have to cook another Christmas turkey again. <laughs> joining us on Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. From the New York World's Fair. Please gather all of your personal belongings and exit through the doors located at the back of the theater. Have a great big beautiful day. And remember, tomorrow is just a dream. Ah, I love it. Also, makes me think of my dad. He went to the 64, 65 World's Fair right from my home state of New York in Queens, home of the famous Men in Black Towers. He actually went to the revolving restaurant. My dad was uh, 21 years old in 65, or I mean, I think he went 65. It was 64, 65. So he was 20 or 21 and uh, pretty special. Thanks. I hope everyone enjoyed the Carousel of Progress. I saw a bunch of people watching. Welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. If you could do me the big favor of please hitting that like button, it would really mean a lot. It really helps. And I hope you're having a beautiful, magical, amazing Wednesday. We're here at Walt Disney World at the Magic Kingdom in Orlando, Florida. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Let's go say hi to Stitch. So this is kind of a continuation from COVID where they used to do picture spots where you could take a selfie in front of the characters and they kind of just kept it going. Of course, Stitch's Great Escape used to be just right over there across from the Monsters, Inc. laugh floor, which took over from Alien Encounter actually during this month, last week. Back in Disney history, uh, I forget which day last week, but Alien Encounter did close and then it eventually was taken over by Stitch's Great Escape, which now sadly is also gone. And we're not sure what's going in there. It's a weird space. It's for, uh, There's only certain things they can do. Right now they're using it for the Halloween treat trail. But we'll pass by and show you what we're talking about. It is a beautiful day here. In my personal opinion, I'd say the best weather we've had in about six months. It's perfect. It's in the 70s. I'm joined today by the one, the only, the merchandise goddess, Brookie, who's really just Disney bound is working so well today. It is Halloween season. It's autumn here at Walt Disney World. Only a few days left. I can't believe it, but we're only like a few weeks left until this entire place becomes uh, the home of the holidays. But while you're here, there are some fun bonuses. Even if you don't have tickets to the Halloween party, which is amazing, you can still go and take pictures with the step and repeats. And my, one of my favorites is right here, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. 
you could go insert yourself in the picture, drive Mr. Toad's car. Sadly, here at Walt Disney World in Florida, we do not have this ride anymore. It's only in Disneyland in California. It's fantastic. But I think we've worked up an appetite and a thirst. It's time. It is time. Uh, now that I've watched Once Upon a Studio a few times, have you seen the short yet? You have to watch the short. I will show it to you after the stream. Okay. But uh, the amazing short on Disney Plus, Once Upon a Studio, celebrating 100 years of Disney. I didn't notice it the first time, but Rafiki hands the camera to Goofy and says, it is time to take the group photo of all the animated characters throughout the 100 years of Walt Disney. And it's, it's amazing. I should say Disney Studios, but you know, Walt Disney did it all. What a visionary, what an amazing man. We talked a lot about it on my Monday show. We go live every Monday at 12 noon Eastern where we just hang out. We talk about Disney and other fun things, whatever the topic of the week is. If you want to come join us every Monday at noon, as well as we go live all the time throughout the weeks from the theme parks all around Orlando. We also drop edited videos and shorts from all our crazy adventures. So if you're new, I'd love for you to subscribe. And if you haven't hit the like button yet, hey, there's no time like the present. Forgot about the three o'clock parade. So it kicks off by Splash Mountain Wolf. Tiana's Bayou Adventure opening up next year. Hopefully around this time next year. We'll see what happens. There's Walt with the partner statue, Walt and Mickey. We're getting a brand new Walt statue over at Epcot in December. The entire construction is supposed to end this December at Epcot. The walls are supposed to come down. And besides all the walls coming down and us getting Epcot back or through traffic through the middle, we're all supposed to get the brand new Luminous Fireworks Spectacular, the new nighttime show. And that is all supposed to happen starting December 5th. I'm very excited about Luminous. As a big fan of Illuminations, I've spoken with a lot of uh, Imagineers, Pyrotext executives about the show, and they said, if you're a fan of Illuminations, you'll be a big fan of the new show. Let's keep it moving. So nice to see. We got about 200 friends hanging out. Welcome to the Magic Kingdom. Thanks for being in here. Like I was just saying, very excited about Luminous. Uh, the thing I got was, if you're harmonious, I think the thing a lot of us uh, didn't like Illuminations. And it won't be super IP heavy. I think there'll be a little bit of IP, but I think there's going to be some original songs and some original storylines. I, uh, some things I can say, some things I can't, but I think Luminous is finally going to be the appropriate encore to Illuminations. We've gone through Epcot Forever and Harmonious, which both are great in their own, you know, their own little world. But Illuminations, to have a show that can last over 20 years, it's got to be good. And I think this might be the one. And that is supposed to start on December 5th. Again, the greatest snack at Walt Disney World, the spring rolls here, right outside of Adventureland. There's a boo celebrating 52 years of Disney. You can't see it, but it says 52. No, it doesn't. Club 33, would you like to go there, Brookie? You know what, let's go to Skipper Canteen instead. I mentioned those Halloween step and repeats. Here's another one. The 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, where you could jump into the photograph. They're just out here during the day. There's no Disney photographer, which is normally here during the Halloween party. But if you just want to walk up, take your own picture, you can totally do so all throughout the Halloween season, which did start here back in August, I think 11th, which is kind of crazy. We're actually going to grab a little bite to eat here at Skipper Canteen because we haven't had uh, a proper, I would say breakfast or lunch for me, but 
Yeah. Neither one of us have not had food yet today, but we're gonna take you to one of my favorite restaurants in all of the Magic Kingdom. It continues the story. If you love the Jungle Cruise and you love those antics and that atmosphere and how much fun it is, this is an extension of that, as you can see from the Jungle Navigation Company, the Skipper Canteen, the world famous Jungle Cuisine. Guess who's back? Hey, Jason knows. Love it. What's nice about this too is you're protected from the rain and a little bit of the sun here. Beautiful chairs. They got the fans on a hot day. But you can also wait inside here in the main room before you go inside. There's space you must got here. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. You, uh, you decide. Space out here. Right? Yes, yes yeah, I'm, I'm, I follow you. I will follow you. Follow you wherever you may sit. I'll be right back. Because I can't stand still, and because you know what? I have to be a proper. Hey, hey what's up? I'm Christina, Christina Wise. Yes. How are you? you? Are you okay with being on camera? Sure. Let's say hi to everyone. Everyone, Christina Wise. Hello. You've seen her in the chat. It's so <laughs> nice to meet you in person. Nice to meet you. Uh, how's your trip been? Good. Good. Having a good I have time? A little, a little something for you. That's a good for you. not necessary. It's what we wanted to do for you. Oh my gosh. Thank, Thank you so much. Are you eating here or just hanging no, out? I've been chasing you oh around. Oh my I god, I am you. so sorry. <laughs> I thought Carousel of Progress. I'm like, well, now I know where I'll be in the same spot. And we came back here. <laughs> We've been right so, nice so, where are you from? Tell everybody. We're from Houston, Texas. Love it. I uh, a cast member. That's amazing. Yes, uh, in the parades. Yes. Yes, so unbelievable. Uh, creating magic for those year round. Did you get to see him? Is he working today? He's off today. He's with us He's today. Off today. He's right, hanging awesome. with us today. I love it. That's so yeah. exciting. We'll be at the party tomorrow night and Friday night, though. So good, yeah. So yeah. we got to see him at the Halloween party. Uh, unbelievable. Honestly, like I always say, this cast members are the magic. Underpaid, underappreciated, and they just come to work every day with a smile on their face to give us the most memorable experience yes, in the world. Do. And your son, this Christina's son, does that <laughs> for everybody else. Here, I'll step over here. So sorry. Um, no, so everything's been good? It's very good. That's yeah. so exciting. And uh, I believe you still have a baseball team in the playoffs as well. We do. Yeah, the Astros doing not, pretty well. No, we're 0-2 right now. I mean, but you're still there. You're in the dance. We are, but we're playing the Rangers, which is where we're also a from. A Texas battle. So, yeah, so we're, we're, we're house divided at our household. <laughs> so, but yeah, tonight's That was my house growing up, too. As Well, in football, we have Jets and Giants fans. Okay. As a Jets fan, always pain for me. But yeah. I see you're rocking the Astros, so you yes. are an Astros fan. We are. We are. We're, my husband's up there he's rocking the astros gear tonight too but you know he's it. like hey if the rangers win great they haven't been since 2011 into the playoffs so we're happy for them but it's very exciting but the strohs you know it's gonna be number three for us so yeah oh another astros person yeah wow. astros. she's texas too oh, there you go. yeah yeah so, okay. rookie christina christina Hi, rookie nice yes so, yeah. so sweet i'm, I'm so glad you came up and said no. hi thank you so much and that's way too much you don't have to do that it's all good for you this is we appreciate you everything you do for you us almost definitely yeah. So so nice everything you. you do for the cast members and showing us and the moms who are, you know, from afar, we get to see, you know, little glimpses here and there of them. We love it. So that I just really want to say so thank much. you for Thank you so much. Thank you. So enjoy. Without people like you who watch, there would be no channel. That's right. So, hey, what yeah. did we say? I mean, unbelievable. <laughs> and please tell your son thank you for creating all that magic. If he would have, if he would have been down here, he's, he's a... One day, hopefully, I'll get to meet him you know what? and say hi. Hopefully. What time y'all going into Skipper Cantina? Uh, you're I mean, waiting on your table now? We're waiting on the table now, but worst case, uh, after we're done, I could always meet up. Well, we're going to be we're gonna be around here for a little bit, so I'm actually going to text him. My phone will quit locking up here. It's like, Yeah, yeah I do the same thing. Mine does the same exact thing. I think it's locked in, you know, the hot sun. It's like, like nice. and it's You're frozen on your, your channel, so it's what it is. It's I'll, well, I'm okay with that. If anyone's phone freezes on my channel, it's... <laughs> I feel me. bad, but it's great. So, yeah, so I'll let them know that we're down here and Yeah, and if, I mean, worst, worst case, if I don't see him today, please someone come up and say hi one day if you ever wear yeah. in certain circles. I run, I hang out with a lot of cast members. I love them, so uh, I love to say thanks for everything he does. That's no worries, but yeah, he's excited. We are excited to you know, see him. You, you know, you give some of the best views that we've seen out of a lot of streamers, so we're very excited. Thank you so much. I'm going to give you another hug. No worries. Thank Enjoy. you so much. It's so, nice. so nice meeting you. Hopefully, I'll see you again a little bit yeah. after we're done eating here. Yeah, most definitely. We'll try and find it. Just, you know, uh, so. I love this place. Check yeah. it out one day, please. Most definitely. I love it.
Christina Wise, everyone, <laughs> representing Texas and Houston, repping the Astros. So good luck to the Astros. Good to so nice meeting nice you. Meeting you. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you soon. No worries. I love that. That was so nice. Hey, if you guys are ever here in the parks, please come up and say hi. Um, they're very, very kind. Christina, just going above and beyond there. But I love meeting all of you. I love hanging out with all of you. There's your water. I'm going to put this over here. Because that, again, is just spilled down my leg. <laughs> I got a wet left cheek. All right. There's been a lot of comments and I'm way behind. So I'm gonna say hi to as many as I can quick while we're waiting here. I know it's not a super exciting Disney content, but I'd like to recognize everyone who's here and says hi in the chat because you know what? It means a lot. I, without all of you watching, like I said, like people like Christina, I wouldn't have a channel. So I'm gonna say hi to as many of you as I can here in the chat. I'm gonna turn it off my face because me reading uh, in this sun is not gonna be an attractive look. So let's give some love to some people. First of all, thank you so much to Ross and Found for the super chat. I didn't even see it earlier because we were running around. Uh, said, here's a super chat because I made fun of your I made fun of your jets, and uh, I was wrong. Congratulations! Thank you so much. Hi Hannah. Hi Mr. Bob Newell. David Lung says, uh, "Fun fact: the full decorations are only up for another 13 days. That's so crazy." Yeah, and then it's the holidays. Halloween isn't over. It may feel like it because we've been celebrating Halloween here at Magic Kingdom uh, since the beginning of August. It's wild. For those that don't know, I used to uh, be a beer rep in New York. Uh, in New York City, I had all five boroughs. And we used to like start planning our pumpkin beer sales in early August. And now everyone starts celebrating Halloween, which I'm not complaining about. But here in Orlando, it, it'll feel like 130 degrees and there'll be pumpkins out. It's a strange, strange thing growing up in New York and being down here. Bill's excited. Pocahontas is back. Hi, Disney Chuck. Hi, Sharon O'Brien. Uh, I'm going way back, so hopefully all you, all you amazing folks are still here. A walk with John. What's going on? Again, big shout out to David Long, Peaches P, everyone who's here hanging out. Apex999 says, uh, yeah, the new Liberty Tree Tavern menu doesn't really make a lot of sense. It's a $65 Thanksgiving meal while it's super hot outside. I do enjoy the old a la carte menu better. I also thought it would, you could still at least ask for the a la carte menu, but that's why we're here instead of Liberty Tree Tavern. Hi, Tyler Silva. Happy Wednesday. Peaches says, yeah, no big deal in the $50 or you can eat. A big meal in the middle of the day is rough. Hi, William or Taco. Great to see you. Phenomenal Brandy still here hanging out. Great to see Phenomenal Brandy. We love her. Allison B., what's happening? A lot of people have never seen Skipper Canteen. Yeah, this is one of my favorite restaurants. One, because it's a la carte. So you can come in, you can get some appetizers. You can get uh, you can get a beverage if you want, an adult beverage here at the parks. Uh, what's going on? John Grantland says, good afternoon from Odenville, Alabama. I'm new here. Well, it's so nice to have you. Thanks for hanging out. A lot of people, uh, yeah, I see. I would do Casey's. Casey's is a lot of fun, too. I personally haven't done Casey's, I think. When was the last time you did Casey's? It's been years for me. Uh, Brandy said, can you wave at the statue still? Yes, yeah, so the statue still reacts to waving, but I think they're getting rid of all the 50 logos because, again, the park opened in 1971. It's 2023. Unless they're going to change those zeros to twos. Uh, the other thing was supposed to be like a 50th exclusive and they're keeping them around. So I kind of have mixed feelings on this. I love they're keeping them around so everyone can experience them. But we didn't really get a lot of exclusive stuff for the 50th, which is kind of sad. You watch what they did for the 30th over in Paris and you're like, wow, that's unbelievable. Everything they do in Tokyo, wow, unbelievable. We kind of had a, um, I'd say a weaker celebration of the 50th, but you know what? We can't complain, it's the 100th now, we're getting some fun stuff. And I think Disney is moving back in the right direction. I think we've, been in a little bit of a, a weird state the last few years, but you know what? It's still Disney at its core. But we're moving back in the right direction. I, I really believe that. Hi, super grumpy. What's going on? David Lung, <laughs> we're <laughs> the carousel of squirrels. I believe David is referencing the hilarious article when a squirrel ran across the stage during Carousel of Progress and somebody caught it uh, on camera, which was very funny. 
Sean Urban, what's going on? Great to see you. Kiadros, what's going on? So just in time for Carousel. What's going on? THJP, great to see you. CEC animatronic guy, what's going on? I hope you enjoyed Carousel of Progress. Hi, Kenzie. Great to see you. Peach just said, I never realized how pessimistic John was. <laughs> He's never going to make it. I think that's the fun part of the show is that it just seems so wild. You know, like, can you imagine people being like, yeah, you can just make a cell phone call without being attached to a wall. That's us. It is time. Let's go. We'll do more catching up once we're at the table. Brandy, what says the character? Of progress is old enough to have seen the Jets in the Super Bowl. Yikes. Kelsey's here. I love it. Says this is the best thing to wake up to after working half the night. I'll take the wall if that's okay so I can show the restaurant. Washrooms are right back to the bookcase. My very good friend Matt's going to take great care of you. Thank you for joining us. Thank Thanks you. for having us. So here we are. We're in the main room of the uh, Skipper Canteen. There's two other rooms. I'll show them to you in a little bit. But first, we must decide we're going to eat and drink the important stuff. Have you ever dined here before? No. Oh, you are in for a treat. <laughs> here we go. Skipper Canteen. Let's open it up. First of all, I love it is that you have these drawings underneath now. And I love that they added this. We're in a darker area, so I'm sorry about the picture quality, but these are great. The skipper boat. Oh, geez, can't take you anywhere. So you have your beverages. Again, so with the sit-down dining, you can order um, adult beverages or the standard beverages. Your appetizers uh, are all fantastic. Honestly, I, I've had all of them at this point, and the falafel is great. The fried rice is one of my favorites. The jungle green salad is great. The cachapas are so good. And the soup is a little rough on a hot Florida day, but it's also very good. Uh, wine, they have sparkling wine, white wine, red wine. They also have cocktails as well. They have the jungle bird, which is a uh, Gosling's black seal rum, Campari, pineapple juice, lime juice. The sunset margarita is very good. It's what I normally get. The Terramana Blanco Tequila, which is great because that's The Rock's tequila. And The Rock, pretty well known, uh, he was in the Jungle Cruise movie. So that's fun. Juggle Navigation Company Shandy. You got the Sangria. They have a bunch of different beers. Everything from this uh, Kungaloos, which I love, from Blue Moon to Michelob, Stella, Old Elephant IPA, uh, which is only found. So the Kungaloos and the Old Elephant IPA is only found here and at the Animal Kingdom. And then the Star Lager which is also available at Epcot as well over in the Morocco Pavilion. Over in your entrees, you got the signature uh, grilled steak, which is fantastic. The, uh, the curried vegetable uh, crew stew that tastes like chicken because it is. You have the hearty hard char sweet pork. Uh, the noodle bowl is very good, but a little bit spicy. So if you don't like spice, beware. But if you like spice, it's for you. The sustainable fish does change from day to day. It's very, very good. And then the ba ba lamb chops, which is uh, ironic and funny at the same time. And I just love the little sketches, like the elephant from the Jungle Cruise. You got the hippo over here. It's just really well done. Up here, you got the snake. Let's see if I can get it in focus for you. Come on. Focus for me. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? What are you into? Once we decide, I'm going to give a little tour of the restaurant. But let's see. The cachapas are great. That's what I think I'm going to do. So those are the house-made corn pancakes, beer-braised pork, roasted corn, uh, a Fresno pepper salsa, and an avocado uh, cream. Although, if you want to sound fancy, an avocado crema. So cachapas, anything else you want to try? I'll split things if you want to split things. I'm into... I'm a big fan of the... Are you talking about the fried rice? Yeah. If you want to split both, I would do both. I'm into that. Because also, I have dinner at five. Uh, well, six. But I have to go home and shower and change. Okay. But I'm down for the uh, a little bit of both. And to show both, if you're okay with that. Yeah. That would be great. All right. So we're going to do the uh, Orinoco 
Ida Kachapas, as well as the Mess Hall Fried Rice. We're in the Mess Hall now. A favorite of the skippers. Sometimes it's a secret menu item. We'll ask if they have any secret menu items. I'm going to guess it's going to be the Brazilian cheese bread. But always ask when you go to restaurants at Disney if there's any secret menu items. This place always has one. I'm going to guess it's the Brazilian cheese bread. But uh, this is a spicy chili. Ooh. I like the little talk that goes on. Uh, someone mentioned the dress code. Yeah, everyone here is at a theme park, and it's very hot year-round. I mean, this is the coolest day in the last six months. But, yes, yeah, so they'll let you in. There are certain restaurants that are at resorts that have a dress code, but they will let you know. Like, I know if you go to Victorian Alberts, they require uh, a certain dress code. Yeah, and other restaurants might have a certain... Um, in between dress code but if you're in the theme parks there is no dress code it's just whatever you wear to the parks as long as they let you into the park in your outfit because they will stop you if it's inappropriate uh they will let you into the restaurants anyway the fried rice is that spicy chili garlic shrimp served over a pork fried rice with eggs and peas and it's delicious it's probably my favorite appetizer and i really like the cachapas too so two excellent choices by brookie well done Before I give you a tour around the rest of the place, I just want to give some more people a little bit of love that I haven't said hi to yet. I think I'm going to do, I'm between the margarita or the beer. I might do the, just the beer. Uh, the Kungaloosh is my fave. What? Just in case he comes and you're not here. I appreciate it. Tomorrowland Traveler says, imagine getting stuck on the Carousel of Progress and listening to that song 500 times. Honestly, it wouldn't be terrible. I think Brandy made a good point. It still might be better than getting stuck on Small World. Have a great day, Mr. Dave. <laughs> Brandy, I can't believe the Carousel of Progress was squirrel-free during this, yeah, a rare occasion. Adam Miller says, are we going to watch uh, Festival of Fantasy? I don't know if we'll see it because we're in here. We were we kind of, again, we both have not had breakfast for lunch. Hi, Kristen Marconi. We have seen Festival of Fantasy on almost all of our Magic Kingdom streams, so feel free to go back and check any of them out. Uh, we love watching the parades. That's why it was so nice to see Christina, because her son is in the parades, especially Boo to You. And uh, we usually have pretty good angles of the parades. Hi, Firefly Boy. Thanks for hitting the like button, Kristen. I appreciate that. Steven Noon, the MVP in the house, are Disney. Uh, what's the nicest thing I could say here? The man knows things before the rest of us knows things. Puts them in our Discord. So thank you so much, Steven MVP. Also just an, an amazing guy. And also uh, another reason to join our Discord. He gives us all the Disney news before everybody else gets it. Pete McDevitt show, my man. Uh, I do his football show on Thursdays. An amazing Disney and sports channel. Go check out the Pete McDevitt show. Hi, Dan. Great to see you. This afternoon, Pete. Still having my stick. <laughs> I still have my stickers for meeting you last year. That's so awesome. I'm so glad you got some stickers. I always have some stickers on me if you ever come up. Today might be the only day I don't have stickers on me. Chris is watching from Liverpool, England. First time watching. Thanks so much. Uh, Chris, this morning I did watch some proper football on uh, Welcome to Rex. Well, I love Welcome to Rex. It's amazing. So I, I got to watch that this morning as I was making my thumbnail. I get some emails done. John Vasquez, what's going on? Says the Jammeters are retired Astros players? No way. I don't know if that's true. Gray Dog, what's going on? Great to see you. Todd said i'm new i just like and subscribe thanks so much todd i'm so glad you're here thanks for liking and subscribing robert he says when is the pirate tavern opening i'm gonna live there i even have a hat to fit in robert first of all i've seen you in that hat and i love it i got to see robert in that hat we uh we had our own little cabana at the h2o glow party and he was rocking it, it looked great the pirate bar if i had to guess is probably about three years out for those who don't know disney announced a few months ago that Pirates of the Caribbean is going to have a little lounge across from the ride that continues the ride experience in its own lounge here. They have like a cool restaurant. 
Yeah, I think, yeah, they have a really nice one out there. I think this will be something similar. We'll see. It's going where Tortuga Tavern is here. Yeah, I mean, we know what you're talking about. I'm going to say it's a few years only because they said they couldn't give too many details because they're still working out the particulars. So, considering they don't know what they're doing, I'm going to say we're, we're three years out at least. Carter Reed, what's up? I wish this was out. Which one? You should just ask for it with with alcohol. I'm sure they could do it. Lynette, don't worry, I am saving room. I'm just having an appetizer and that is it. That's why we didn't do Liberty Tree Tavern. It's, I know we have dinner and I'm very excited. So excited to see Bill and Lynette for dinner tonight. We're going to uh, Toledo here at Disney's Coronado Springs at the Grand Destino Tower. It is the restaurant up on the roof, and I love that I get to come to dinner with both of you tonight. I'm very excited. Thanks for inviting me. Richard Ortiz says, hey, I'm new here from New Jersey. So far, great stream. Thank you so much, Richard. I appreciate it. Big shout out to New Jersey. What part of New Jersey? I'm from New York. We moved down here about four years ago, if you want a little bit more about me. Um, all right, I guess I'll give a quick tour. You know what we're getting? Uh, yeah. You're good? Oh, there he is. What's so, going on, Matt? Um, I'm skipping out. I'll be a survival guide. You're sure enjoying your adventure so far today? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, safari so good. Safari so uh, good. Uh, my secret menu item today, not so secret, is a pot of queijo. Pot of queijo is going to be an appetizer, Brazilian-style cheesy bread bites. Brazilian cheese bread. Brazilian cheese bread. Brazilian cheese on the side for dipping. Uh, my soup today is our uh, Lawson Found Soup. Lawson, we're we'll going on a hiking trip and find it. We're going to find a carrot ginger with spicy meat out. Sustainable fish today, not for honestly. I'm waiting for our stream. I don't swim that well, so it's a great draw. My favorite on your entree is Dr. Fall's signature grilled steak. Give me steak enough to get it. Over a nice bed of french fries, tomatoes, and onions, and a nice citrus tamari sauce for you. Uh, beverage as usual suspects, beer, wine, savory, or Coca Cola products. My favorite new pop deal is going to be your sunset margarita. Something to approach you both to drink while we settle in. The Sunset Margarita is the best, but I'm going to go for the Kungaloosh, please. Good choice. I'll do a water as well, please. Can we also throw in some apps? Yeah, too Can we do the cachapas and the fried rice, please? Not here. Thanks so much. Look at that. Representing Mass. We got a lot of people watching from Massachusetts. I love it. All right, I'm going to give a little tour. Are you okay with that? I'm sorry to leave you and you're lonesome, but I'm going to show you a little bit around the skipper canteen uh one you have the skippers of the year here look at kate and tyler love it you can also find a ton of fun stuff so actually alberta falls the owner her office is right up top right there you can kind of see the name a lot of the um Signs, posters, pictures in here have significance and some stories, at least some backstories, which are a lot of fun, as well as this entire area up top over here, which I'm going to try and show you without disturbing anyone's meal as nice as I can. Let's see. A lot of fun stuff. Again, if you're here, ask your server about any details they can give you about any of this. Sometimes they will point things out. Sometimes you just ask nicely and they will tell you all the fun things about this beautiful restaurant. Here, the first thing I love before we enter this room is if you look at the lamps, I love the exotic bird stained glass. It doesn't come across as beautiful as it really is. I don't know, let's see if I can make it work. But they're gorgeous. You got the peacocks in the corner, the fireplace, fine china, a beautiful dining room. If we keep moving, we come in here. I call this the butterfly room. I, it's really just for one reason, but there's some uh, beautiful masks over there. You got the map over here. But this table, the butterfly table, is where it's at. This also is the room where the restrooms are. You have your own restrooms here. Every sit-down restaurant has its own restroom. Another little hack. I'm not going to show you the restroom, but hi. Great to see you. The restrooms are a lot of fun. They're well-themed. Uh, I know at least in the men's room, they have the Daily News, G-N-U-S, like the animal. It's fantastic. But some of the highlights, well, I would say some of my favorite things in this entire restaurant are here in these bookshelves. And I know it's awkward to stand and look at all the titles, but ask your server or ask your hostess or host 
to give you a little bit about it, there's so many hidden secrets and Easter eggs in these books and in these shelves all around. Some of them are just hilarious. Like, Is This Deadly by Mort Al or Al Mort, but it's mortal. You know, fun stuff like that. These little, little things, including the fezes right here from sea. So the Society of Explorers and Adventurers, uh, you can come see them here. So you can see Henry Mystic, Albert the Monkey, uh, Luana, Dr. Albert Falls, uh, Chef Tandaji, so many, um, you know, uh, Captain Mary Oceaneer, which is from Typhoon Lagoon, Merryweather, Pleasure, uh, just so many. And if you ever look up, you know, it's a fun little Disney thing. The Society of Explorers Adventure is now, it started over at Tokyo, and now it reaches all the parks and gives backstories to certain characters around the parks. It's really a lot of fun. And again, these... <laughs> book titles are just amazing. Let's show you a few more real quick. Oh, this one too. Instead of great expectations, reasonable expectations. So good. A hundred and one ways to split a banana. A tail tail. Monkey or ape. Yeah, 20,000 leagues up here. I just, it's really so much fun. You could just spend so much time around these books. Maybe we'll do a video just about the all the books in the bookcase one day. I think I might have to do that. But yeah, this is Skipper Canteen. Let's head back. It looks... Have our beverages arrived? Or our water has arrived. And you heard it when we first sat down, there's uh, ambient noises and sounds and conversations you might hear. Again, a great extension. I love the Jungle Cruise, so I'm a big fan of this restaurant. And there is no, uh, you know, all you can eat menu if you wanna come in, like what we're gonna do. I'm gonna have just some appetizers and a beer and move on. So there's no obligation to have a full meal where you're spending tons and tons of money. Also, you can order a kid's meal here, which I recommend sometimes during a hot day. You don't want those large portions. You are able to order a kid's portion. Still enjoy the delicious food here at Skipper Canteen. What? You order the Brazilian cheese bread? I mean, it is delicious. Sean said, did I hear beer? Yes, and look at this. It just arrived. The Congaloosh, you can only get it here in a Disney's Animal Kingdom. And then there is the margarita. It is so good, that's my favorite cocktail here. Cheers, happy Wednesday. So good, right? So is that beer, and then I have the Congaloosh throughout the year, especially over at Animal Kingdom. Uh, over at Nomad, I love being over at Nomad. But with this weather today, it's so nice because it's a spiced ale. It almost has some fall autumn flavors, almost like pumpkin-ish. Do you want to try this, or will you? It's so good. And with this weather, chef's kiss. All right, I'm going to say hi to some more people. Thanks for being here. It really means a lot. I appreciate it. Let's go and show you this beautiful restaurant and say hi to some of you. I'm going to mute you for one second. I'll be right back. And we're back. We're back. 
I'm sorry about that. I saw someone said, can you refresh the quality? If it's ever blurry or fuzzy, I uh, always recommend refreshing on your end first. And if it's still bad, let me know. I'd be happy to refresh to give you the crispest stream there is. That is so good. All right, so we've got the Brazilian cheese bread as well. Whoops. Look at that. This is the secret menu item. As I like to call it, the not so secret menu item. Let's get into it. I'm excited. North Jersey, 10 miles west from the GW. Oh, nice. I have journeyed past your neck of the woods many times, Richard. Hi, Gray Dog. This is hi from KC. Love KC. I was there this time of uh, year last year when college game day was at uh, Kansas. When it says hi, everyone joining in, please hit the like button. I agree. Thank you so much. Oh, look at you're doing the epic shot. All right. Look at the cheese bread. Oh, yeah. So beautiful. That is the dip. It's really good. I love the dip. Rob Whiteside, what's going on? So did I have any Judy Bloom? <laughs> I'd have to recheck the bookcase. Hi, the Nickman. Yes. Cheers, everyone. Hi, Sean. Hi, the Nickman. Richard. John Vasquez is Pete drinking his beer in thirds. Yeah, I like to take big sips. I could usually... Yeah, you're right. You could tell John's been around for a while. I drink my beer at about three sips until completion. So excited that Nickman says, uh, I'll be there next month. So exciting. D'Lo in the house. What's up, D'Lo? Says, hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for those. Button. Please keep going. Let's hit 200. Yeah, we're uh, about 20 likes away from 200. If you haven't hit the like button, it really, really helps. And it's so nice. And I really appreciate it. So thanks. All right, let's get into some cheese bread. I will. I normally don't like people watching me eat, but you know what? Cheese bread. It's fun and exciting. Let's get into it. Oh. Yeah. Do you like it? All right. We've dipped. So good. Perfect breakfast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I woke up at 6 a.m. This is my breakfast. I don't know what time it is, but I feel like it's time to eat. <laughs> Richard Ortiz says, Rogers will be back by week 12. Go Jets. Hey, I'm a big Jets fan. I try not to talk too much NFL on the Disney stream, but it's amazing what he's doing. Nick Turp in the house. What's going on? Turp says, hey, fam. So nice seeing so many of you and hanging out with us. Thanks for being here. I hope you're having a great Wednesday. Oh, thanks for letting us take a little bit of a break. I know it's not as exciting as Carousel of Progress are going on the rides and attractions, but we needed some sustenance to get through the day. Well, hold on. Oh, hear the sound effects? Safari so good. So good. Whatever you said. God bless you. It's delicious. Here. 
all the things. Mm. It's on point. Honestly, so I'll say this. I don't like saying, let me chew this first. I don't like saying anything negative ever, but I like to keep it real for everybody who's watching so they know what to eat, what not to eat. Is that the Brazilian cheese bread can hit or miss because if yeah. it sits, it can get a little tough yeah. to eat. Today they did a really good job. Yeah, it's perfect, it's right nice and warm. That stretchiness, sometimes if it mm -hmm. sits, it gets a little tougher to eat. So that's why sometimes I avoid it. But when you get it like this, it really is delicious. And the, and the dipping sauce they have on the side, so good. Thanks for being here, everybody. Cheers. I see we have a ton of new people here, so if you're new, hopefully you hit the subscribe button. You got the bell on, you hit all notifications. We do fun stuff like this all the time. Oh, here we go, look at this. Oh my gosh, here are the cachapas. There's the uh, shrimp fried rice. So right here, these are the Orinoco Ida's Cachapas. You got the house-made corn pancakes, the beer braised pork, the roasted corn, the Fresno pepper salsa, and the avocado crema. And over there with the fried rice, you got the spicy chili garlic shrimp. Now granted, I'm not a big spicy person, so if I can handle it, you can handle it. It's really spicy. But it's also served over the pork fried rice with eggs and peas. And this was our secret menu item, the Brazilian cheese bread. We're gonna get into all this. After this, sadly, I do, I just was telling Rookie off camera, I might have to run because I have dinner with Bill and Lynette tonight, and I'm so excited to hang out with them. And I, and I love hanging out with all of you. If you like streams like this, I hate saying goodbye when there's so many people watching. We're only 18 likes away from 200. If you do me a big favor, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. You got that bell on. We will be live again this week. I don't know if it's going to be Thursday or Friday. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Friday because there's a live performance at Epcot. And I want to just go walk around and show you so many things that I've got as well that we normally don't do. Maybe we'll do Soren over California too because it's that limited run. But please, please, please make sure you're subscribed. You get the bell on, hit all notifications. Go join our Discord. It's amazing. The nicest community on the internet. Imagine a community that has no trolls. It's crazy. We're the luckiest. I mean, knock on this wood. But it has been an amazing two-year run of just kindness and beautiful people. And the link is down below. If you want to see what happens after this stream and what's going on the rest of the day, I'll post pictures from the rest of our day here at Magic Kingdom, our boat ride back to Wilderness, our amazing dinner at Toledo, and whatever else happens after that, things might get crazy. So make sure you're following the socials at Official Carney on Instagram, at your WDW guy on Twitter. Uh, Adventures by Carney is the TikTok. Adventures by Carney is the Patreon. If you're able to support the channel, thank you so much. And thank you to all the Patreons out there. There would not be a channel without all of you as well as all of you who are watching. Thank you for watching and being here. It really does mean the world to me. The fact that people watch this nonsense and this big red face is literally crazy. It's crazy, it's crazy. So thank you. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Crush the week, I'm sure you're going to. I'm rooting for you. And if you do me one big favor, please just be kind to one another. We need more of that out there. Have an amazing day and I'll see you on the next live stream or on the socials. I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.